Welcome to the first webcast of Digital Raven. My name is Ryan. And I'm Peter. We're going to be talking about guns today, and specifically using guns in action movies, uh, short action movies. Um, one of the things that's been happening in movies recently uh, is the first person shooter sort of angle, obviously coming from the video game uh, fans, people. Good examples, bad examples. Bad example would be Doom. Uh, a lot of people, well, some people liked it, but a lot of people didn't like it because they did an entire scene of straight up uh, gun point of view. I think a good example would be like Kick Ass. They did it uh, for only, they did it sporadically and very short. Uh, and I think that was, I think it looked really good. Yeah, I, I would agree. Uh, now, now, a question that I would have is being a little more familiar with the filming industry, do you think Doom? had a camera mounted to a gun or do you think it was digital i mean how do you think that was done? well it was done almost 10 years ago they, they could have mounted a camera um it probably would have been very expensive they could have just digitally added it in which uh, the whole thing looked a little hokey I so it may have way, yeah, yeah. um but it was one of the first films that did that there were, where it did that point of view for an extended period of time one of the other things that's happened that I've noticed happening a lot is like in Cloverfield, and or maybe not Cloverfield. Cloverfield might have been a bad example, but uh, I, I know Battle LA, they get that, that view of the face and running around and all that. A lot of people are doing it now. Anyway, um, we're going to be talking about the GoPro, right? Yes. And how we're going to try to do it. Uh, we, we got our hands on the GoPro, awesome camera for $300. Uh, comes with a ton of accessories, and let's take this off. Uh, you can mount it on practically anything. It comes with accessories to mount it on your chest, on your head, uh, bar mounts. And what we did was we took the GoPro, which is right here, put it on this MP5. Uh, we took the bar mount and just hooked it right up, as you can uh, see. So that gives you the, uh, the barrel view straight down the, the, the sights. So we're going to do some tests and some shoots and see how it comes out. And basically what we tried to do, as Peter was saying, was, um, was line it up with the iron sights. Uh, you know, it, does, it does give a... It's a, it's a little off to one side. Yeah, it's not the the actual lens on the GoPro is off to the left, so we centered the camera right on the on the sights, but the lens itself is slightly off to the left. So. And, and then of course, since I'm a, a righty, I'm going to be tucking it into my right shoulder. I'm going to be kind of looking down through it, and that's going to give it that that a little little more realistic first person shooter. I mean, you're not going to be able to see my feet. They're not going to hover in just a shadow, but uh, you know, we'll have fun with it. Yeah, we also got our hands on. Um, on Action Essentials 2 from videocopilot.net. So th that added in with our point of view. We'll add the sound effects. We'll add the uh, the, the burst, the fire. Um, muzzle. <laughs> flares. Muzzle flares. I had a little brain fart there. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to add that into our little test shoot and we're going to get a little scene. Yeah. And, and hopefully you guys will be inspired and, and kind of know a little bit of what we did and, and have fun doing whatever you need to do. Absolutely. All right. Let's get to it.